One thing that I hear all the time is how do you come up with great composition or great layouts in lettering? Now my friend Ian and I have developed a awesome tool for that. It's called the Grid Builder. The Grid Builder contains 35 of the most commonly used grids and shapes that you would often see in a lettering layout. For example, you can start off with the bow tie and you can place it anywhere in the frame. I have a five word quote that I want to letter out and so I'm gonna start off right with the center. As I'm starting here, I know now that I wanna fill out the space here. The coffin, for example, will fit in great. I'm gonna actually add a new layer for every single grid so I can move them around with ease. So I can simply tap it in and use the transform tool, scale it down and place it wherever I need to have it. One thing that I also wanna be sure is that I leave a little bit of negative space in between. Then I can find out a different shape up on top. So I'm going to add a new layer, look for a different shape, the bridge rise or the art large and so I can just tap on here, modify that, and then two words at the bottom. So I could either use the same coffin as I did here by just duplicating it and then dragging it down, like that will look very good. Or add a new layer, here this block. I'm just gonna place it in between here. I'm actually gonna reuse the shape on top. So the arc, duplicate that, super easy. Flip it around 180 degrees. Now I can just place them together. Okay, now you're gonna say, Stefan, you have some places that are overlapping. Absolutely true. Since I do know how much space it needs in between, this is actually helpful. To test it out now, I'm gonna use my sketch brush. So the quote that I've chosen, don't ignore your own potential. Now we can again go back here and say like, oh, you know what? I want to change don't and actually make it also this tall. And as you know, you can add the letter builder inside because you know now how to do that. So make sure to play around with the shapes, to have space in between the words, fill it out to test and see if it's all good, if it's working all right, and then you're good to go. If you ever wanted to see how you can create beautiful 3D letters using the Letter Builder, I'm gonna be showing you in the next video.